Hey everybody and welcome to another Magic the Gathering historic brawl video here on Magic Arena. Today's commander in chief is none other than Lear, disciple of the drowned for a three blue blue for a human wizard that's a three four. His ability is spells can't be countered. Each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard has flashback. The flashback cost is equal to that card's mana cost. With the flavor text beneath the waves, lost gods stir in their slumber. We are kind of referencing this with a kind of a cheeky kind of Kraken kind of build as we get into some other stuff here. But the whole goal of this deck is to use uh, Lear's ability to get value, specifically out of uh, bounce spells, are kind of like bounce spells and like cheap draw spells to the point where like we unsummon something. If Lear's on the battlefield, we can unsummon something else. There's also a little bit of cheeky fun that we have in Time Warp. Uh, I'll be honest though, this deck I actually have had a very hard time. This is like my fourth iteration of the deck, and I think it definitely could still use a bit more power to it. Of course, as always with this uh, series, I like to try to not just fill it with good stuff, try to get some use out of some commons and uncommons. We're also trying some of the new things that are uh, the perpetual stuff that comes in, uh, and then also Kiora that came in from the... Uh, Historic Horizons set. But basically this, this deck has the problem of Mount Mono Blue, which is the only way you really have removal is bouncing. And then you could do the tap attachments, but we weren't run, wasn't running too much of those. Instead, in the latest version, we tried out a bunch of these uh, enchantments that turn a creature off because we were running to things like Sithis a lot, which had a lot of um, matches where they just outvalued us. And if we bounce Sithis, she's just a two cost commander. So there wasn't too much we could do with it. Um, other things that kind of, as you can see here, more of these. And then kind of like our top end, we have, uh, we use Alrun's Epiphany to try to like take extra turns to close up the games when we have the uh, big board. Big board comes from Cure Best, the Sea God, Icebreaker, Kraken, Serpent of the Yawning Depths. And then there also is Ominous Seas. These are kind of the things we can use to get a big board while also like trying to get small bits of value and then hit with like um, Overwhelm with Nadir Kraken or get small bits of value and then use Brazen Borrower, Sea Dasher Octopus, uh, Talrand, who should be right there, as well as Murmuring Mystic. We can also get advantage in kind of like a spell slinging thing. So I don't think this deck, it, can, it has room for improvement uh, and uh, if you have any suggestions for it or what you would do differently, you can always let me know in the comments. But I got a bunch of good games. This one, we also have some really nice uh, showings from other decks as well as some like really good matches uh, for you to watch here with Lear. I do think that no matter what, we can see the potential power of this. And I think Lear is a commander who is just going to get stronger as the card pool goes. Or if you're not limiting yourself to a sort of like try not to just load with every freaking thing in there. Um, before I go, you do notice that he can't counter spells, but we are still running a few counter spells to kind of just help us out in the early game. And this Sublime Epiphany, it's not in one of the matches in this video, but you can use it to still counter target activated or trigger abilities and then do everything else, which can be very powerful. So I hope you enjoy the video. Have fun watching me and Lear try to get there. As you can see, I'm on video for this one because we actually recorded this. I recorded this live on stream as opposed to the other ones which have been off stream. So yeah. Let's watch some magic. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Oh, Gisa. Mono blue v mono black. So me having my thing stick on the board is likely not going to be too much of a thing. Okay. I'm going to run with this hand. We got to go first as well. So let's remind ourselves what Gisa does. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile instead. We're going to be exile, put all creature cards. Okay, we don't want that to happen. Um, I think we'll just get Terramander out there. There was a case for playing Juari Disruption, but I think keeping that as a counter spell can be pretty, pretty sweet. And then we just, you just draw lands anyway, and it's easy. Get Midnight Clock out next turn. They can attack for two. That is A-OK. -okay. Ow, that hurt my face. 
Uh, and then we'll deliberate. Scry two, then draw a card. Yeah, you can kill that thing. I don't really care about him that much, to be honest. All right, we want that for Gisa. Uh, and I think that's just a bit too slow right now. We will take that. Because, once again, that just basically solves the Gisa problem. Now, he is in black, so he can sacrifice cards uh, pretty... Uh, he can sacrifice his monsters and get rid of it, but if it slows it down when it's on the board, we can get ahead. That's a good card. So now this Jawari Disruption is pretty bad. Um, but I think what we are going to do is just play... Just play Daddy. Because I don't think they have anything that can kill him for one mana. And they'll probably want to get their commander out too. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to just say, hey. Get out of here. And then... And then we pause. And we just sit like this. And we try to just accrue more value than what our opponent gets. Pack rat. That's a good card. That can get out of hand pretty quick. Destroy target creature. Oh, can we stop that? Hmm. We let that go. And then we're going to send her back to their opponent's hand. Interesting. Okay. Then we let her opponent attack. Then we scry to and draw a card and try to find something that deals with uh, her. That's a strong card. I think we want to take the... Uh, We're going to take the land. We are going to play the Benthid. Then we're going to pass to our opponent. Who knows, maybe they'll play something for six, or they'll play Gisa and a kill spell, and we can get them. We can't get them with the Disruption, rather, because uh, Leer is in play. So. Hello, sir. How are you? Sure. Um, I will sack a goat you gave me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Opponent. Alright. We'll cycle this. It's a good draw. Okay. Disperse is nice. We have a lot of interesting choices. I think we're going to play Kiora. And we're going to attack with the Benthid. Send it to our opponent's face. Uh, then I think we're going to make a Hatchling. And play a Hatchling. Alright, and we have this Disperse, which we can use for a lot of things. Yeah, man, you can kill my dumb hatchling. I don't really care too much about that. That card, that didn't cost me anything. So this is going to go up in two turns. Nightmare Shepherd's a cool card. Rats we control have Menace. Not really an issue. Alright, um... We are going to sack a goat. Let's see what our opponent has here. Nothing, huh? Okay. We probably want to return something to our opponent's hand. Probably just the Nightmare Shepherd. Make them use their, their mana. And then we're going to have a beautiful clock that's ticking right away. And I think we're going to start with... We're going to make a Kraken. 
we're gonna play the Kraken, because it just doesn't cost us anything. We're gonna attack with a Benthit again, just get some damage going. It's gonna be nice to get a full mitt coming up. I'll just pass. So we've lost this spell, just that. Uh, well, we might, we'll probably use the disperse here. We're gonna see what our opponent does. Yep, you create a rat. Drop down the Brazen Borrower. I think we are going to return the Piper to our opponent's hand. Just have them continue to just take their time on things. And get a full mid of stuff. Okay! Okay. Oh, okay! Nice job. When the midnight clock rings, dong, our opponent turns back into a pumpkin. Linvala? Is that who this is? Linvala. Oh, a party deck. Okay, we're gonna mulligan this one. Get out of here, Linvala. Um, uh, I do think this hand is worse than the other one, but we are gonna keep it. Go to bed, go to sleep. Yeah, I'm not trying to be evil, it just freaking happens. I don't know why I'm doing this now, because I'm bad at magic. Do we want to put any of those in the discard? Probably not, actually. It's actually, that's a pretty good uh, mitt of cards we got coming up. Murpho, bro. Whenever that deals combat damage to a player, mill a card. Oh no, that's okay. They can get rid of my uh, Jawari Disruption. We got Linvala. We'll lose our Jawari Disruption, but we're gonna probably just grab it back with Mystic Sanctuary, which is like kind of a juicy little bit of synergy. And then I think we're gonna just send that back to our opponent's hand. Just once again to keep tempo going. So now we don't know what we lose here, just an island. Sure. I don't think we're worried about that disruption yet. I think if we just... Hmm. We could just be evil again. <laughs> Which we know chat loves. Chat loves it when we're evil. I'm trying to think of what the line is here. We could just block her out. They might just sack her. Let's go for it. Let's see if they sack her. Because they might. They might sack her so this doesn't go on the creature. Well, they're ha they were happy with it. Okay. Uh, we'll return that to our hand. Actually, we'll return the... We'll return the disruption to our hand. Oh, it goes on top of our library. They can mill it again. That's fine. I'm dumb, actually. I thought it went into your hand, but it goes on top of your deck. It's still fine. They can get rid of it. Even Mind Sensor is pretty neat. That's a cool card. 
So I think what we do is we're going to foretell that card. And then we're going to pass to our opponent, I think. We can hit for three. Mill a card. Opt. We'll send out the octopod. Hello, I'm an octopod. <laughs> Now we're going to swing in, see if our opponent has anything. No, I think they do have a counter. So we're going to try our commander. If they counter it, that's okay. Oh, that's freaking sick, brother! Alright, let's end the turn. Evil's good for online magic because you don't know the people you're pissing off. <clears throat> I would never be allowed to play Mono Blue in my friend group. That's a good card. Uh, if you read this card, I'll be going to scry. Alright. Well, that thing is going to get tapped down for sure. They might sacrifice um, Invala for that. I'll take you. Okay. Okay. So I think what we do is we're going to cast this Spectral Adversary. And we're going to pay two. And we're going to phase that guy out. Oh, target up to two. I paid too many. Alright, we'll phase also you out, I suppose. And then we can swing with the team. And the next turn, we're going to go for uh, this Outrun's Epiphany, I think. Yeah, because we can get that going. Get two attacks with the Octopods. That's going to be pretty sick! This looks like just like, where's the party? Doesn't tap as long as you control it. Sure. We're gonna tap the adversary, that's fine. Pass to attackers. Yeah, we'll take a bunch. We are gonna make a Kraken from the sea. Disciple of the Drowned Sea, flavor. Okay. So I think what we do is we swing like that. We swing like this. Opponent's going to block the Kraken. They'll take the damage. Oh no, they'll make it uh, indestructible. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough for our opponent here. Because those guys add up to enough, and we're gonna probably see a scoop de poop de here when we uh, take an extra turn. Very nice. All right, I'll, I'll say it now. You might be right, Chain Dreamer. <laughs> you might be right. You might be right. I might be evil. I might just be evil. Get Rog. You gotta love the Gitrog. I'll run with this hand. We need mana to really get it going, but we have some nice things that we can do. Let's get rog for people who don't know who get rog what get rog does. We're gonna oh, so we're gonna foretell this. Nice card. Maybe they'll proliferate him if we have him going. Now we're free to unleash our evil potential, it's true. But we only this is only our fourth game in this recording session, so there's a lot of time for things to go south. Of 
cool. No blocks. Uh, yeah, I'll pay one. Uh, I think we're gonna just, like, return you to the hand. I'll attack there. Proliferate me! Opponent, opponent, opponent! Me, 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 me! Frick! It didn't work. It didn't work. Gitrog would be a fun com uh, commander to build around. They really need a swamp, don't they? If they needed a swamp, why did they cycle their Baron more? They should have just played it and taken a turn off. Uh, sure, man, that's fine. I'll keep them both. They're both good. No blocks. We'll take three. Get an island down. Ooh. Well, we can't get that yet. Do we? Yeah, we wait on that, don't we? We want to kick that. So I guess we just cast our commander, probably. This guy can't attack or block unless we have the city's blessing. Sounds good. Give me the Git Rog, baby. Give me the Git Rog. Oh, Phyrexian Arena is a fun card. I think it's good in Historic Brawl. All right, that's a nice draw. Okay. So. Let's get the land going. Get Rog Monster. He is big. City Blessing? City's Blessing. That's going to be there. Nice. Cryptic Caves. Draws a card. Honestly, this Get Rog's pretty sick. We are going to turn him into a freaking uh, <laughs> wall of ice. I am going to take five here on this attack. We are going to off, though, quickly. Put that on the bottom, because we can't counter spells right now. Disperse is awesome. You know, no blocks. So, let's get Crab Wall. And then let's uh, get rid of their commander. Because what's the most fun part of commander? Not being able to play your commander. <laughs> Proliferate. Oh, magic crystals. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. Do it, my friend. Go for it. Hey, man, yeah, just keep ramping. The best way to win is to have lots of mana and card draw. Okay. We're going to opt into turn. That's pretty sick. Hmm. I think I'm going to draw 
three cards here. We're gonna get out the banner. Go blue. And then I think we pass to our opponent. We're not ready to go on the offensive yet. We also probably want, actually we probably should afford, no, 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 well, we should be fine. Choose one, destroy target enchantment, okay. Uh, we'll return you to your hand. I'll tap you. And then you can play Get Rog, and then we're going to turn it into a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and then we're going to be like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to say, yes, 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 yes. Proliferate, baby. Let's go. They have a lot of mana. Vorniclex is strong. Whenever you tap a mana, add one more. It doesn't untap. Okay, that thing is now probably going to become a frog. <laughs> no! They're going to kill Cherix. We can return him to our hand. We kind of want him. And then we're going to tap you... Okay. So what we would like to do is tap this and this and turn this guy into a frog. And we're going to then tap him as well. Oh, let's go. What, Vorniclex? How do you live and do cool things when you're a frog? It's a Shia. That's not a Shia. It is a Shia. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to mulligan this. We're going to keep this hand. Whenever land enters the battlefield, gain a life. Seems nice, opponent. On the plus side, we're ramping up a little bit as well. They are also ramping, but luckily we can, like, try to keep a Shia back. That's the hope, anyway. We don't have any spells in our hand. <laughs> I always hate when I see people hover their cards. It always makes me go, no, don't touch that. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Let's get some mana. And then we'll leave that guy back for now. Asha, yeah, 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 yeah. I like this because uh, all their creatures are lands, so now it does that thing. And that thing is be good. Wait a minute. Does this work? Bye, Ashaya! <laughs> oh, this is such a shame if <laughs> you get destroyed by a field of rune, huh? Oh, that, that makes me feel a little bit dirty. It's in the graveyard! There we go. It was just back in the command zone. <laughs> That's pretty funny to me. I'll put that on the bottom. guy. Choose a card name. We're going to choose Lear. We're going to give our commander a little bit of a... A little bit of a boost. I 
I don't know how we're going to win this, to be honest. Nice. It's a good card. Also sick. I should have cast that in response. Not okay. Get out of here for a little bit. Right. So now we play Leer. Draw two. Okay. Hit for five just while we can, even though our opponent's like really far ahead. And I think we're gonna foretell that. When we end the turn. We need something good. We're missing like a We're missing a little something. Spaghettios! Uh oh no! Oh frick! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, man! Yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. Eighteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we want to hopefully find something. That's fine. Does get plus two. Am I gonna chuck my commander in front of that? Hell no. We're going down. To, we're going down to five. No blocks, baby. Hit me up. Cool. We have a horrible top card of our deck. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can also play this. <clears throat> Draw two cards as well. Scry two, both those to the bottom. We need something that solves that problem. And that's not it, but hopefully we'll get there next turn. Give me a time warp off the top, please. Or just a basic. One, two, three... Four, five. Okay. You go to hell. What's in my graveyard? Nothing of note. You go to hell. Yeah, itchy amorphous will do it. So we're also gonna actually keep this keep this cure of best the sea god. All right, then we turn you into a fish. You're still gonna be huge, but you lose the trample, which is important. Uh, and then we're gonna swing in for a chunk. These birds are very important blockers. <clears throat> Let me drop that out. Okay. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. You got it. Nice. That was a good. That was actually a good match. I like that one. We threw some fun uh, haymakers at one another. I liked it. That was a good time. Hydration is important. Frick. <laughs> ah, Sithis. Frick. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. It has something that helps us deal with Sithis. Sith and of course they get to go first. Indest indestructible isn't going to help you when Sithis is a frog. <laughs> oh, they can't play Sithis. They can't play, they can't play Sithis. They can play that card, though. That's a good card. Luckily, that gives us a turn to get this Arcane Signet going to get some ramp.
Home of the Stars is also sick. Less good here when that's, I realize it doesn't remove their uh, their ability. Uh, this uh, interesting. This guy's gonna be good when we start turn him into a thing. Into frog. Yay! <laughs> so this is a frog. You gotta love when you look at Sithis and then she's just like, wait, I'm a frog. Oh, okay. Don't tell me they're roping me. Don't tell me. No. Mars kid, you can't be. No. Please. Please, I have a family to feed. <laughs> no, stop. You're killing me. I mean, maybe they just alt F forward. They were like, frick, Sid, this is a frog? Play to land? If we draw a land, that would be nice. We can get out mesmerizing Benthid. Dude, looks like they're just roping me, man. They're angry. Hey! So sick? <laughs> There's more where that came from! <laughs> oh, you ain't out of the woods yet, opponent! <laughs> You ain't out that easy. <laughs> Once a frog, always a frog. Yeah, we'll take two. Sweet. Okay. I think we just pass to our opponent here. <clears throat> Hit me for a bunch. I deserve it. Fuck the boss. <clears throat> That's a good card. Yes, it can resolve. Nice. I'll we'll discard the sensor, I think. Okay. Nice. Okay. So now <clears throat> we drop down to the mesmerizing Benthid. Because now we have blockers for their stuff, which is good. And what's most important is that their card draw is gone, and we still we don't have anything else that deals with the this thing. And like they will have ways to deal with it, but hopefully we can maybe just at the point, not fall so behind on card advantage, which is how Sithis gets ahead. We had six, we'll be one mana away from the Kiora Best the Sea God, which is going to be pretty bombastic if we can get to it. Show three or more deserts. So he can grab two more deserts. He's going to create two, which is actually not too bad, to be honest. That's not too scary. I 
Oh, Field of the Dead. Freaking Field of the Dead, man. Okay. We could Leer. It leaves us with one mana. If we return something... I think Leer's probably the line here, right? We need things that block their zombies. I think so. Yeah. And then if we get our seventh land, we get Cure of Best the Sea God. The question is, what do we grab with it? Probably their Field of the Dead. <laughs> Sure, man. That's only fair. That is only fair. I might actually just block with Lear here. It gets Heliod down a little bit. That's nice. Anything that cost? Take action. Hmm. <clears throat> She's huge. <laughs> She's huge. <clears throat> We get this out. And now luckily our opponent's on one. They're on one, one, one card draw. Like they are gonna pump things up with Heliod, but I do think we could potentially get ahead with this, especially with this Cure of Best the Sea God. It's a strong card. Yep, they get a dude. This thing puts Creatures you control get plus. That's not too scary. We'll probably grab their Heliod, probably. They could do a pretty clever, like, Field of Rune, target two of their lands. That could be pretty fun for them to try out. Sure. What are they trying to pull? What sort of tricks are up their sleeves? All right, just to attack with everything. Okay. We go here. Then we get the dog. We go there and then chump one of those guys. No, we chump, uh, sorry, keep there. We chump the four. We go like that. You can give life link to a bunch of stuff. Tricky. Oh, 
Okay. Swing with the team. And then we... We bounce you. I think we stop there. We're probably gonna have this guy facing things out. Okay, that's a bit. S Is that spooky? No, it's not, because we can just phase it out. Auto pay. Returning that to my opponent's hand. Oh, this is their fucking attack phase? Oh, no. Their phase is out, right. Uh, I would like your... Probably your ram, actually. And we attack with the boys. Then we pass to our opponent and see what they have. They didn't feel the rune, which I think they should have. Grabbing an enchantment card. <clears throat> it puts that card on top so it doesn't go into their hand. Sure. Do they have a way to draw that card? Pass to attackers. No attackers. Okay, I think we might have just won. I mean, he can make a food and sack of food, so we don't think we've won. So he'll be up to eight, and we have six coming through in the air.
bring him back. Bounce a zombie. That costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. <clears throat> we swing with one, two, three, four creatures. He can block six in the air gets through. So one, two, three, four. If we return another one. How do we deal with that, is the question. Oh, we can... No. Let's say we bounce a zombie. Yeah. Let's say we bounce the zombie. Get rid of one of these fuckos. We send in the squad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> They're gonna need to crack their food. No, because they can give things lifelink. Kill the zombie first. Getting the food and then the lifelink. Oh my god, I think he's got this. I do think he has this. Is still dead. So the correct thing was only a swing in the air, right? That was the correct line. Yeah, the correct line was only swing in the air. The only thing is I think if he plays this overwhelming spender, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we can just swing in with like everything and he can block five of it. One, two, three, four. It's tricky, man. Overwhelming splendor time, baby. <laughs> Good draw. Okay. Get that punk out of here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, did we just fucking win? He blocks this. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck, we didn't. I mean, we have to swing with everything, right? We play Kiora. We prevent all damage that would be dealt to and by Heliod. What do you got for me, opponent? He's got the goose, so he can make an egg. So he can make a food. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad.
The goose is loose! I think if we only swung in the air, we would have won, I think. Fuck, man. Put it on him instead. No, because he still stays the ability. Great draw. All right, let's see what this gives us. I don't think either of those do anything, so we're gonna just pray. Well, that's something. Yes. All right, so he blocks three, he heals for three. Say we got a land. I think we have to target you so you don't get lifelink. I think we have lost. Swing with the team. If I just swung in the air that one turn only and not put people on the ground, they wouldn't have gotten lifelink. They only would have healed with the goose. So frustrating. Good game though. It was a great game of magic. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Good game. I think I've lost. Yeah, what can you do, right? What can you do? Oh, Stick Fingers? That's this guy's name? Old Stick Fingers. Oh, we get to go first? Uh, Mulligan. It somehow got worse. I'm gonna keep it though. We have some scry, we have uh, some scry here, we have some cycling here. I think we're gonna probably be fine. Nice draw. All right. Let's pass to our opponent. Oh, spider spawning, that's fun. We'll just cycle. My turn. Uh, this card could do something. We actually might be able to get a counter here. That would be nice. That would be a pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll take one. Don't think I won't OP. Okay. 
Uh, well, we'll take the scry here. We'll return that to the hand. No, you go on the bottom. We want to land here. That'll work. Uh, and then we'll put that down. Mana is more important right now, I think, than any other fun tricks we can do. So we're going to play Tower Ram, and then we're going to return that to our opponent's hand. And now try to get some juicy value out of him. Yep, that's fair. That's fair. You want to destroy Tower Ram before he gets too good. I, un I understand completely. Okay. I do think we want you. Over. Turn that token into an actual card. That's a great draw. And then we'll just end the turn. Yes. Get out of here. So sick. Spider ain't big enough. <laughs> okay. Gadwick could be really nice here. I think this Bounty of the Deep is also pretty sweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Gadwick for zero. The card draw obviously would be nice, but I think what we want instead is to tap this guy so we can be on the offensive. And the turn. do so spooky little hand of branch hand at the window it's old stick fingers you see yes sure you can play him <laughs> he you can play him this time sure fun card Have the cards, brother. I'll give them to you. That's right, they have Death Touch. Well, that's a big whoops for me. That's a big whoopsie. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Okay. I think we turn you into a frog. Give me the old stick fingers, baby. Oh, dark ritual, old stick fingers. He's huge. <laughs> He's ginormous. Stick fingers, stick fingers. Let's go, let's go. No blocks. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start here. Then we're gonna go there. 
Let's even get something to do this turn. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. I think we can play the ring. We'll pass to our opponent. <clears throat> stick fingers, stick fingers, go, go, go. We like sticking fingers, yo, yo, yo. I would like to, can we counter spells? Enchantment spells? That ain't an enchantment spell. Uh, my misplay was a bit embarrassing, but we did get there. Shouldn't have gone for one more. No, I'm going for one more, one more. This one's actually going to be the the last one more, though. I, I, I stand by that. Because we have, what, one, two, three, four games that are wins that were, like, actual games. So we got to try for one more. We got to do to see if we can get one more for the video. And what is it going to be? Yuck. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I think this is going to be a loss. Keep this, though. So this is whenever you draw a card. So, like, he can't land. He can't stay on the board. Which means, unfortunately, like, all of this stuff is... These are staying just for Niv. Hello, yes, I'd like to cycle you into something better. Sweet. Now, let's see if our opponent wants to counter this replicating ring. There's a counter. Told you. Nurse, that's fine. It's a bit spooky. Just gets good value for our opponent. Hey, we like counter spells. We like counter spells. How about you? I like counter spells. Yes, I do. Go for it. Let's play my guy. Because <laughs> now spells can't be countered. Which seems really nice against those <clears throat> two counter spells in my opponent's hand. What the frick? You're telling me the red mage has damage? Hello? I'm a Kraken hatchling? <laughs> You fool. He's back. Sacrifice the Kraken. Make an 8 8. Oh, let's go. All right, there we go. Our actual just one is an actual win. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed all of the matches we had here today. As you can see, a lot of matches ended pretty early that showed up here because uh, apparently people just don't like their stuff being bounced. We had a lot of things where like we had um, some decks where you just like bounce some stuff and they're just like, get out of here. So sometimes you win just on like generating positive tempo for yourself, keeping the board under control and having your opponent continually fall behind on their mana. So there is that. Um, I do think this deck does still have some weaknesses to it, uh, and there were a few, I can admit, um, misplays on my part today. 
uh, partly because I had one eye on stream, partly because, you know, you're always learning on how to be a better Magic player. And that's that. If you guys like this kind of uh, content, please let me know in the comments below or by liking the video. I am planning on trying to focus on many as the end of the uh, Midnight Hunt commanders that I can to kind of like showcase them. So there should be another one coming up in the near future. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And as always, GG's.